women. But we should also know that there is hijab of men. The hijab of men, no, not just the, there's a mental hijab also, yes, we know about that hijab. But there's the other hijab, which is the external hijab, where it is prohibited for a Muslim man to wear pants which expose his private parts. Because at the same time we say, women, cover yourself. But then we're walking out with spandex pants. Men. So there's no double standard in Islam. As a woman, it is not acceptable hijab for her to wear something on her head, but she wears a top which is so tight, she may as well not be wearing any top. Or a bottom that is so tight, she may as well not be wearing any bottom. Mm. We don't accept that as hijab. It's not hijab. Similarly, for men, particularly between the navel and the knee, their garments should be so loose that private parts are not exposed. And this is a big issue because a lot of the Muslim community, the males in the Muslim community, have ignored this. And scholars will tell you, and you will know, that one of the uh, conditions for the uh, correctness or acceptability of salah is what? Satrul Aura, covering the private parts. So covering the private parts is no different for men than women in the sense that between the navel and knee, which is the private area of the male, that is supposed to be covered in a similar manner. The garment should be loose. So pants that are Western style pants for Muslims is really not acceptable unless you're wearing a top which comes down to your knee or you're wearing loose pants like the shalwar Pakistani <laughs> pants, the waist is like this wide, you know, it comes together, whatever. This is a point that you need to address because if you are serious about the deen, then we don't have a double standard. One standard of exposing aura or covering aura for men and another standard for women. No, we have one standard in Islam.